Hello, so here's a take on a few of the abbreviations on uh, my different platforms, a few of them, yeah. For example, I'm saying D for S for Dharma for the Soul Satisfaction. And I'm saying NY for Nirbij Yoga. Connect dot is connect dot. And uh, Meristim Intelligence, um, you're saying Meristim Intelligence Literacy as MIL is popularly called as media information literacy but Melissa intelligence is like mother of all media so it's like mother of all media information literacy MIL which is also a short form for mother-in-law so our problems is with the laws yeah when we have rules and regulations then we have difficulties and then when we have and we say in-laws that is like you know relationship and we have problems with in-laws yeah I've noticed unless you have all you know healed all the wounds and then your all your relationship with them is all fine and then you don't have a problem with in-laws they're just as much your parents or your brothers and siblings yeah unless you have a problem with your brothers and siblings in which case in-laws takes on the colors that you have of your natural relationships and then um, if the in-law relationship is better then the natural relationships become healthier that is if you see the connection. And then mother-in-law, daughter-in-law, son-in-law, yeah, yeah. Between a natural uh, relationship and mother-in-law, yeah. It's like um, monarch and you know, all, all kinds of associations with it. But it's also media information, let us say, yeah. On, on, uh, we, may we may be having difficulties with the mother, Eve, for example, is a woman. But father is more, you know, more, more acceptable maybe, yeah, or, or more um, easy to have problems with because you have problems with laws and rules and father's world is all laws and rules and mother is all nature and nurture and it's easy to take, take for granted and uh, abuse because you take things for granted and then you have uh, the quality of your life issues and if something goes wrong, you're running to mother, yeah, but you have problems with laws and rules and regulations, but we have more of patriarchal society than we have a matriarchal society. And um, you think mothers are not good enough. They're not sufficient enough. And then you keep searching for mother quality, um, nurture, love and care. So it's a circle, keeps, keeps on. Okay, so that's a little bit of digress, but um, MIL, Media Information Literacy has so many facets to it it's like the circle of life well, the circle of love more like it well okay so a lot of that contained within that hashtag mil now this is specifically about ny nibi geogram and um, ny um, also is a short form from new york and the teleseries sex in the city uh, i think just about one of the at least one of the episodes talks about how um, she um, Sarah uh, Sarah Jessica Parker Sarah Jessica Parker she uh, likes New York because uh, it's a metropolitan city with local and different kinds of people um, different varieties of people within the same city and uh, your relationship with yourself with other people and different kinds of dynamics in them and kind of it's easy to get lost and it's also something by which you can find yourself in ways that you may not have thought possible otherwise yeah other than by getting lost and then being found so new york ny kind of relates to that idea in my world and then new york york is also in my world um, bouncing off of yorkshire yeah and yorkshire the way I understand it is more to do with the, you know, as a language, yeah, is more uh, consonantal, yeah, consonants. You kind of round all the words and then it's more, it's like you're biting into the, uh, the syllables. So it's consonants. So new consonants, consonants by how we sync up with other people and form our music, our language, for example. So new consonants. New York hashtag the hashtag NY for Nirbhi Yoga is, it can also be transliterated translated to 
new consonants. So, um, I hope this gives you a little pause for thought. Makes sense. Okay, D for this. D is like, this is, um, in Tamil, this is a very funny way of saying, um, A, B, C, D, E. It's like, A, B, C, D, E. Yeah. So, E is like fly in Tamil. Uh, D is like, uh, a yo. Yeah. Like how we would say in English, yo. D. Um, um, or in, for people who speak Hindi, you know, it's the difference between aap and tum. Yeah. When you, when you say tum, it's more like D. In Tamil, um, A, B, B is like B, B as in honeybee, uh, A, B, yeah, C as in C as in C, so look, C, A is like, uh, hey you, it's like you, you, you holler out to somebody, hey you, so A in Tamil, so A, B, C, D, E, yeah, so the D is like uh, the common denominator. Yeah, lowest common denominator, but it's basically also our um, basic uh, relationship with each other. Yeah, when you give and take everything, it's more like what, how do you honor, respect and dignify another? So it was just, yeah, there, you can call somebody's name and, and, um, and be so denigratory about it, that, you know, it debases the value. So the D is also how we respect, honor and dignify another. Uh, so that's kind of um, represented by D. And S is uh, like Shwasa. Yeah? It actually stands for soul, soul satisfaction. Um, okay, let's just say with the four. The four is, you need at least four pillars by which a room is made. Yeah? Like uh, any room. You, you need at least four walls. And then there's a, there's a floor and then there's a roof. But you need at least four walls. And to construct, say... Um, anything you need at least four pillars by which you can say this is now a room space because it, it supports it's like sentinels they support so four um, tetragrammaton for example also refers to four it's like four uh, specific kinds of grammars for example that holds um, the structure um, reliably depending on how strong the four is yeah Force, force, may the force be with you. This can also be said force, yeah, F O U R S. S, uh, S is like Shwasa, like um, Shwasa or Shunya, okay, Shwasa. Um, shunya is like nothing. Yeah, without nothing, everything cannot come into existence because nothing is at the heart of everything. Um, and then everything emerges from the event horizon or the black or the singularity or the shunya zero from where one two three four five six seven eight nine and after that we have another ten another zero and then again the one two three four continues but it's at 11 12 13 yeah so it's basically all arising from the zero no zero we don't have the other numbers do not have a meaning one does not have a meaning without there being other than one yeah and then two is one more of one yeah, one plus one is two. So that way. So nothing is at the heart of everything. Shunya. That's one way. Another way to look at it is Shwasa. Without breath, there's no life. Yeah. Uh, and you need to maintain your breath well enough. So you need to have Nirbij Yoga to maintain the quality of your breaths. So healthy and natural breathing. Uh, using no thing. Shunya. Um, unobtainium. And to how uh, to maintain the quality of that unobtainium, that no thing, that has taken a lot of while for me to figure out how to maintain the quality of that no thing, ground zero. Which is why uh, Western intelligence has so many brand names, brand, uh, uh, brands, to make uh, what all it takes to maintain that ground zero uh, evolving maintained and then evolving to infinity so nobody's dying human beings are not designed to um, die yeah a human body is made to not die and then we are dying uh, speaks about how much we don't know our own human body yeah. so um so if all of this sounds very odd and un unheard of contact me 
then uh, we will learn some more maize but basically through maize you'll be you'll be learning more of the design of your own body and then learning how not to die but instead you know what does it take why not to die and then what you do with not dying a lot of work a lot of work you see the universe earth is the only planet that supports life so we have the entire universe to enliven uh, more of it later Thank you so much for your kind attention.